Detective, this is unexpected. You said the door's always open and I'm walking through it. Mm. Right, well, I was just on my way out to meet the Britneys, but I suppose they can occupy each other. Great. Then have a seat. Yes, has something happened? I'm guessing by the looks of it with Dan, perhaps? Mm. You mean Detective Douche? Uh, yes, well, of course, that's what I mean, but the bigger question here is why do you mean We that? weren't even back together, and he ended it with me tonight, with a text. I mean, what are we, in high school? Well, we're certainly drinking like we are. Why don't you have a seat over here and tell me all about it? I just feel like an idiot. I can't believe that I would let myself care for him again. I mean, why? So I get hurt? No, because you're a kind person who puts the needs of others before your own. It's a horrible irony that my father invented. But you don't do that. You just take what you want. Since the beginning of time. That's nice. Mm -hmm. What's happening? It would seem that I'm saying no. But you've been trying to get me into bed since day one. Why are you saying no? Well, frankly, my dear, I'm as baffled as you are. I mean, usually I'd leap at the chance to fulfill my carnal desire, but... For some reason, I can't. What am I doing? Why am I here drunk throwing myself at you? This is so sad. Well, it happens to the best, I promise. But not to me. I don't do this. This is something... my mom would do. <sighs> Come here. We don't all turn into our parents, Detective. I mean, look at me. I don't think I've ever been the son that he wants me to be. I, uh... Oh, God. <laughs> 